It was just another night at the observatory, until Robert Werrick noticed something unusual in the PanStars-1 telescope data. The telescope, designed to spot near-Earth asteroids, picked up a faint, fast-moving point of light. This object was moving so quickly, about 87 kilometers per second, that it was clear it wasn't from around here. Initially catalogued as a comet, more observations revealed its path was all wrong for a solar system object. It was on a hyperbolic trajectory, moving fast enough to escape the sun's gravity entirely. This meant it was a visitor from another star system, a true interstellar traveler. The astronomical community was electrified. We had finally found one. The object was named Umuamua, Hawaiian for a messenger from afar arriving first. For centuries, we'd theorized about interstellar objects, but never seen one until now. Umuamua was the first confirmed visitor from another stellar neighborhood. Its discovery was a testament to our advancing technology and vigilance. We weren't looking for an interstellar object that night, but we found one anyway. Umuamua didn't send a signal or a message. It simply flew by, silent and mysterious. During its brief visit, it became clear this was no ordinary rock. It was a cosmic riddle, unlike anything we'd ever seen. The race was on to study it before it disappeared forever. Astronomers scrambled to gather as much data as possible. Every observation only deepened the mystery. Umuamua was a messenger, but its message was cryptic, and it left us with more questions than answers. What made Umuamua so strange? First, its shape. Unlike the lumpy, roundish asteroids we know, Umuamua's brightness changed dramatically as it spun, suggesting an extremely elongated or flat shape. It could have been a cosmic cigar or a pancake, at least ten times longer than it was wide. It wasn't spinning smoothly either. It tumbled chaotically, like a pencil flipping end over end. This tumbling hinted at a recent violent event or a very rigid structure. Its path was another clue. It dove into our solar system from above the ecliptic coming from the direction of Vega, then slingshotted away toward Pegasus. This hyperbolic trajectory is the mathematical signature of an object just passing through, never to return. All these features, extreme shape, chaotic motion, and a hyperbolic path, made Umuamua a true cosmic anomaly. It wasn't just an interstellar rock, it was a bizarre one. Each new observation only made it stranger, Astronomers were both thrilled and baffled. We had opened the door to interstellar objects, and the first one was a complete oddball. It challenged our assumptions about what's out there. Oumuamua forced us to rethink what we know about planet formation in other star systems. The universe had just handed us a puzzle with missing pieces, and we were only beginning to understand how weird the answers might be. The mystery deepened when astronomers looked for a comet-like tail and found nothing. Objects from interstellar space are expected to be icy, and when they approach the sun, they usually outgas, creating a glowing coma and tail. Umamua, however, showed no signs of outgassing. No coma, no tail, not even dust. This led to its initial classification as an interstellar asteroid, a dry, rocky object. But then, as it left the solar system, Astronomers noticed it was accelerating, moving slightly faster than gravity alone could explain. This non-gravitational acceleration is typical for comets, caused by outgassing acting like tiny rocket thrusters. Yet, Oumuamua had the push, but not the tail. How could it accelerate without visible outgassing? The contradiction was baffling. Was it a comet with invisible outgassing, or something else entirely? The acceleration was small but undeniable. It reopened the debate about its true nature. Scientists were left with a paradox, a comet-like push, but no comet-like features. This central mystery fueled wild speculation. Umuamua defied easy explanation, opening the door to new ideas. The universe had thrown us a curveball and we weren't sure how to catch it. With no samples, astronomers relied on the light reflected from Umuamua's surface. Its reddish hue suggested a surface baked by cosmic rays, common for ancient objects from the outer solar system. This weathered crust might have trapped any ices beneath, preventing outgassing near the sun. Some proposed it could be made of exotic ices, 
like hydrogen or nitrogen, which would outgas invisibly. But such objects would be fragile and unlikely to survive a long interstellar journey. Ultimately, we can't be sure what Oumuamua was made of. Its color hints at organic molecules or irradiated rock, but the data is inconclusive. Oumuamua remains a ghost, revealing just enough to keep us guessing. How did we know Oumuamua was interstellar? It's all about speed and trajectory. Solar system objects are trapped by the sun's gravity, following closed orbits. Oumuamua, however, was moving too fast, on a hyperbolic path, never to return. Its trajectory had an eccentricity greater than one, the mathematical hallmark of an interstellar object. This was the smoking gun. It wasn't from our solar system. Astronomers tried to trace its origin, finding it came from the general direction of Vega. But Vega wasn't in the same place when Oumuamua would have passed by. The stars move over time, making interstellar forensics nearly impossible. Oumuamua is a cosmic orphan, its home star unknown. Its journey could have lasted millions or billions of years. The object's mysterious origin only added to its allure. It was a traveler from the deep, dark galaxy, and it left us wondering what else might be out there. With so many oddities, some scientists asked, what if Oumuamua wasn't natural? Avi Loeb of Harvard suggested its acceleration could be explained if it were a thin light object, like a solar sail. Maybe it was alien technology, a defunct probe or light sail drifting through space. The idea captured imaginations and headlines. SETI scanned Oumuamua for radio signals, finding only silence. No evidence of technology, but the debate was on. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Still, Loeb argued we shouldn't dismiss the possibility just because it's unconventional. Science advances by considering all options, especially when faced with the unknown. Oumuamua forced us to ask, are we ready to recognize alien technology if we see it? Most scientists favored natural explanations following Occam's razor. The leading idea, Oumuamua was a new kind of comet, outgassing invisible gases like hydrogen or nitrogen. Maybe it was a nitrogen iceberg, a fragment from a Pluto-like world in another system. Such an object could accelerate without a visible tail. These theories have their own challenges. Nitrogen icebergs are fragile, and invisible outgassing is unproven. Still, proposing a new type of natural object is a smaller leap than invoking aliens. Every theory stretches our understanding of what's possible. Oumuamua showed us nature can be stranger than fiction. The debate continues, but most lean toward a natural, if exotic, explanation. The universe, it seems, still has surprises in store. Oumuamua's visit was a wake-up call for astronomy. It proved interstellar objects are real and perhaps common. We found one by accident, suggesting many more pass through undetected. This realization changed how we searched the skies. New telescopes, like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, will scan the sky more deeply and frequently. We hope to find more interstellar visitors, maybe one every year. The dream is to send a spacecraft to intercept one, capturing images and data up close. Missions like the Comet Interceptor aim to be ready for the next visitor. These objects are time capsules from other solar systems. Each one is a piece of a cosmic puzzle, helping us understand our place in the universe. Oumuamua opened a new window onto the galaxy. The next visitor might reveal even more. We're now watching and waiting. Oumuamua is gone, but its legacy endures. It was the first confirmed interstellar object, a fleeting, mysterious visitor. Its true nature remains unknown, rock, iceberg or alien artifact. The mystery is a gift, pushing us to expand our theories and embrace the unknown. Oumuamua inspired a new generation of astronomers and invigorated the search for life beyond Earth. The next interstellar visitor might be less ambiguous or even stranger. Thanks to Oumuamua, we're building the tools and missions to be ready. The search is on for more cosmic messengers. Oumuamua represents the heart of scientific discovery, unexpected, challenging and inspiring. It forced us to ask new questions and consider new possibilities. Its brief visit connected us to the wider galaxy. The universe is full of surprises, 
and we're just getting started.